Hey guys, how are you? This is Caitlin, and this is going to be a basic rundown of the Final Cut Pro 10 application window. I know it's a little overwhelming at first glance, but let's break it down so that you understand the layout a little bit more and feel a little more free to um, explore the features that this application has to offer. So let's start over here with the event library. Right here, you have your events broken down into, um, I have them broken down into months and year. You can affect that by going to this wheel button and then selecting group events by year and month. It makes it a little more organized. And then right over here, you have your clips within your actual events. Um, you can adjust how many screenshots are there and the duration of the screenshots by affecting how many screenshots you want. So I have it set to five minutes, every five minutes a screenshot. So that makes these shorter, especially for long clips. So then right here, you have your viewer. And this is showing some footage of my sister's graduation video that was just uploaded to YouTube yesterday. You can check that out. That's my first Final Cut Pro edit ever. So if you want to see some of that stuff, you can check it out. But yeah, this is just basic to see as you scrub through your project timeline and as you scrub through your event clips. So I'm right over here, this is not natively here, all the way to the right. But I would suggest turning it on very highly by hitting this inspector button right here. It's a little eye to the right. The reason I would suggest having this open is because it shows you all the control that you have, the effects, the chroma keys, um, the key framing, the color correction, the cropping, the distortion, the image stabilization. These are all things that are a little advanced and you might not know yet, but I'll teach you each of these in a future video. So it's good to have it open right now so that you can get used to it being there Then it's not intrusive when you do know how to use those features in the future. So then down here we have your project timeline. This is a magnetic timeline, so whenever you drag a clip, everything else just adjusts accordingly, which is helpful to kind of pick up speed and such. There's a shot of my dad. But so yeah, then you have right here um, your sort of in-between toolbar, which can be a little overwhelming as well. But I would just take it um, one thing at a time. I would focus more on the right. Over here, you have a button to import footage from a camera or to record footage from your built-in web camera eyesight. Right here you have your time, shows you where your uh, marker is within the video, and this percentage dial shows you how well the rendering in the background is doing. It says 100% because this is a finished video, but that'll fluctuate as you're editing and add effects and stuff. This is the enhancement menu right here. This controls all color correction, color balancing, color boards, it brings you to the color wheel, things like that. Then right here, this is your real time. Uh, menu and it shows you how to slow down, speed up, reverse the clips, all your footage can be affected um, that way. And then right here, you're used to this stuff from iMovie 09 and iMovie 11, guys. This is just effects. Um, you drag each of these things in, any of it. Um, this is photos. Bring in some music by hitting this one. You can bring in transition by hitting this one. Cross dissolve, that's fade to black, all that good stuff. And right here, you can bring in titles. Um, drag that to anywhere you want in the timeline, guys, and it's magnetic. Right here is a title that I added before. If you double-click it, then you can start um, editing what it says. And right here are generators generators which are good for um, green screening in case you want to have yourself standing in front of say this curtain or something and then right here you have animated themes which kind of takes care of any type of motion graphics for you if you're not really into that stuff so that'll add a different look to your video so yeah and that's about it guys this is really not as complicated as it appears at first so anybody that was intimidated i hope that this video helped you out just start to feel a little more comfortable within the application and as i produce new videos for you guys you'll start to understand the features a little bit better i hope this helped you out thank you so much for watching below i have some links to my twitter to my facebook page you can connect with me on all those social networks and please feel free to hit the subscribe button above it's that yellow button and it's free so you can get all these videos in the future so like i said thank you again for watching and i will see you in the next video bye guys